Mr. Savage, how are you going today? Pretty good, Mr. Wilkie, how are you? Top of the world. Uh, we're here to chat to these guys about some solving of linear equations today. That's right. And I see you've got a problem up there for them already. Yeah, ready to go. So we've got Sasha. He's employed as a dishwasher. Now he earns a wage according to a mathematical equation, a linear equation, y equals 14x. And I remember graphing those ones, and if it's linear, it comes up in a straight line, right? Exactly. So in this case here, we've got y equals the amount of money or dollars that he's earning, and x is the number of hours he works, which are getting multiplied by 14, which is his rate. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, the first part of the question, we have to determine how much Sasha will earn if he works a four hour shift. So we'd have to be going back and having a look at this equation and using that equation to work this out. Exactly. So we're trying to solve for y, given that we know that x is going to be 4. So we'd write out the original equation, y equals 14x, and then substitute in our 4 hours. So 14 times 4 would be $56. Yes, it would definitely be $56. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Not bad for four hours of work. Fantastic. And then probably because we've asked the question, we should maybe just finish with a little statement there just to show us that we actually have appreciate what that $56 means. Exactly. Not a bad effort, really. Not bad at all. Okay, Mr. Savage, so we've had a look at solving where we used the equation where Sasha was working for four hours. This one here, we actually know how much he's going to earn, but we've got to figure out how long he works for. Yeah. Sounds a little bit harder. A little bit harder, but still only going to be one step to solve it for us. Fantastic. Okay. So we've got determine how many hours Sasha worked if he earned $105 for a single shift. Now, I'd also make the assumption that he's not getting paid for breaks and things like that, just to simplify the problem for us here. Sure. Yeah. So we still have to start with the exact same equation? Exactly. Do you remember what it was? I think it was y equals 14x because he was getting that $14 per hour. Fantastic. So again, the y was how much dollars he was earning and the x was how many hours he was working. So in this case here, we could actually substitute in our given value, that $105. So we'd have 105 equals... 14x. So do you remember what's the step that we can do to actually get that x value by itself? I do. At the moment, 14 is multiplied by x, so to get rid of that and have 1x, we need to divide both sides by that 14. Let's do it. So on our right hand side, our 14s would cancel out, leaving us with x, and our left hand side, 105 divided by 14. Seven and a half, I, I think so. So, what's that telling you, Mr. Wilkie? Well, that tells me, I think, that he's got to actually work seven and a half hours to earn that $105. That's it. So, if Sasha earned $105, he must have worked for 7.5 hours. Nice work, Sasha. Yeah. So Mr. Savage, that's the one-step equations, yep. but we've been working a little bit harder in maths. We've been going all the way to two-step equations. Right. Are there some applications that go with those two-step equations? Definitely. So anytime that there's an initial fee, such as a call-out fee, or when you jump in a taxi and there's already a few dollars on the, uh, the meter there, that could be a, a great application of a two-step equation that needs to be solved. Love it. So this question I've got here today, we've got Stella is a plumber. Now she charges a rate of $80 per hour, which is her rate. Wow. Plus a call out fee of $110. So just to drive out to your house to do the work, she's charging you $110. Now this can also be represented by a linear equation. Looks similar to our last example, just with a little change. We've got y equals 80x plus that $110. Okay, and from this, y would still be the amount of money that she earns overall. Yep and X would still be the number of hours that she works. Exactly. Got it. So our first question, calculate how much Stella will charge for a five hour job. So we're gonna use that same equation, I'm gonna substitute in five. All right, so by substituting in five for the X there, we've got 80 times five plus 110. Now, of course, I do my multiplication first, order of operations. Oh, nice work. Get the $400 there, plus 110 call out fee. Stella's earning $510 for that five hour job. Not a bad effort, not a bad, not bad effort at all. Thanks. Now of course I'd also have to write my quick little statement. Sure. If 
Stella works five hours, she earns $510. Outstanding. Okay, Mr. Savage, so the last piece that we're going to be looking at today is probably the hardest piece. Oh, yeah. We're talking about a two-step equation, and we're not talking about straight substitution. There has to be some algebra involved in this one as well. So really, yeah. legends only for this one. Legends only. So we've got, if Stella charges $670 for a job, determine how many hours of work she completed. But we have to consider that call-out fee. Okay. So we start with our initial equation. And we can substitute in our value for y, the amount of money she's earned. Okay, and that there does look very similar to those two-step equations that we've been doing in class as well. So yeah. I see how you've gone from a worded question via that equation to now a two-step equation. Is this where I just divide by the rate, divide by 80? Well, you could do that, but it's a yep. reverse order of operations when we're yeah, solving. Okay. So it's actually the thing that's on the same side but furthest away. So it's actually going to be that 110 that we need to get rid of first. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 110 from both sides. Absolutely. What so you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. So 670 minus 110. And then I'd have my 80x plus 110, subtract 110. And that would just cancel out to zero, right? Gone. Perfect. Okay, so 670 take 110, that would be... 560. 560, all right. Equals 80x. And so now, I see it's down to a one-step equation. Yeah! Now we can divide by the 80, right? Absolutely, we can. 80 multiplied by x to get rid of the get rid of that multiplied by 80. And on both sides, of course. Of course. So I'm down to my x, and that would give me... Seven, seven hours. Seven hours. Okay, so if Stella charges $670 for a job, she would be working for seven hours. Fantastic stuff. And I'll write up my statement. We've now learned that we can do one and two step equations, but in real life scenarios, so algebra is not just this little game, you can actually use it to solve things. Yeah, almost every single day.